A bride who is expecting a love-filled speech gets a surprising confession from her groom that astounds her completely. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Jessica had a tough time saying yes to Jefferson. She knew she loved him, but still the scar she had from her previous marriage inhibited her from going ahead in this relationship. However, she accepted his proposal as she was confident that he was the right man for her. But was that the case? Jessica had been seeing what Jefferson wanted her to see, but things got clear when Jefferson made a confession to her on their wedding day. He was in love with someone else. Whereas the entire room was stunned by the confession, there was one man who was filming this. Check out the video that will touch your heart for sure. The wedding is one of the most beautiful traditions made by humans. It celebrates love, understanding, and trust that two people hold for each other. The wedding not only unites two souls for an entire life, but also makes other people believe in this beautiful feeling. Jefferson and Jessica hit it off the instant they met each other. The duo began to date. It didn't take them too much time to realize that they belonged with each other. Jefferson asked his beloved to marry him and Jessica said yes. It was time for the two to exchange the vows soaked in love and trust. It wasn't easy for Jessica to say yes to him. The woman already had seen a failed marriage before. Unfortunately, the marriage had ended at such a bitter note that it took her years to overcome that. Not to mention, Jefferson's company had helped her a lot in forgetting her horrible past. That is why when he proposed to her, she could not say no. She knew he was exactly the man she was looking for all her life. However, there was one more thing that made her doubtful about her step. Jessica had a nine-year-old child from her former marriage. She was already parenting a child at the time she met Jefferson. However, Jefferson never seemed to be affected by it. However, Jessica had no idea that her bitter past was going to rule the most important day of her life. She soon was going to learn something surprising about her would-be husband on her wedding day. Portugal is one of those few countries that successfully bears cultural diversity that exists in harmony with one another. English, Portuguese, French, and Spanish are the predominant language of Portugal. Jessica and Jefferson both had Portuguese as their language and so decided to celebrate their special day by following Portuguese tradition. If you are a woman, you may agree that every girl starts planning for her wedding day right from her childhood, and one of the most important parts of their plan is choosing the wedding dress they would be wearing. Jessica, too, had been dreaming about her special day from a very long time. She wanted it to be perfect. She graced her wedding day in a white dress. The bride accessorized her pretty dress with a tiara and veil that looked fabulous on her. The groom, too, had groomed himself well. The suit looked dapper on him. They were looking their best on their wedding day. However, one could tell by looking at Jefferson that he was a bit disturbed. Everything was running smoothly, just the way Jessica wanted. The hall was crowded with guests who had come to give their blessing to the couple embarking on their new journey. It was a room filled with different emotions. Some were laughing, some were crying, but all of them were happy for the couple. Everyone there admitted that the couple was a perfect match for each other. The bride was grinning from ear to ear. As far as the groom was concerned, it appeared as if he was burdened with something. He was going to get that off of him in this ceremony. Jessica had no idea what was coming. Jessica was extremely happy. Jefferson's love for her had encouraged her to dream again about her future. He had become her strength and now was going to be her future. But wait, did she know everything about Jefferson just the way he did? Well, no. There was something about him that he had not told her. Both bride and groom knew that from that day on, they were going to have their life completely changed. The two were going to be held together for life with a bind of vows. Owing to her previous experience, it had taken her a lot of courage to walk down the aisle once again. She knew exactly the things she was going to say to Jefferson before exchanging the vows. 
However, she had never imagined what Jefferson was going to confess to her on that day, right before their marriage. The expression on the groom's face contrasted the mood of the event. Whereas each and every person was excited and happy, Jefferson looked nervous. Perhaps he had gotten cold feet, or maybe he had something in his head that was struggling to come out. One could easily notice his hand trembling when he lifted his speech that he was going to read in front of a crowd and his bride. It was not an impromptu act, nor did anyone force him into making this speech. It was well planned. However, he had not told anyone about this. Jessica also had no idea about the speech thing. Jefferson's best man was standing beside him with a video camera to record the moment that was going to leave an indelible mark on the couple's lives. But before that, Jessica made her vows. Jessica was overwhelmed by the fact that her groom had prepared a speech for her. Jefferson had always been a shy guy who wasn't good at expressing his love openly to her. And now the man was going to make a speech about their beautiful relationship in front of so many people. It seemed too good to be true for Jessica. Nevertheless, she was happy and was impatiently looking forward to his speech. The bride, beaming with joy, enunciated her vows. She made sure that every word she said conveyed her deep and true love for her groom. She vowed to always stand by his side regardless of the situation. She promised to love him unconditionally the way she does now. She assured him of her devotion and trust that would guide them all their life. Talking about trust, the groom was going to make a revelation in his speech that definitely forced the bride to rethink her vows. The bride finished her vows. The entire hall resounded with applause and blessings. That is exactly how Jessica wanted her dream wedding to be. She looked at her groom who looked nervous. She assumed Jefferson was nervous about making the speech. With eyes full of love and expectation, she kept looking at him. That made Jefferson even more nervous. The groom took the phone out of his pocket and began to speak without looking at Jessica. It seemed the man was struggling to let the words out. He managed to say a few words and then he stopped suddenly. He began to look around as if his eyes were searching someone. But who? Jessica was standing right beside him. The bride and groom just don't trade a certain set of words while exchanging the vows. They pour their heart out while doing that. The event is conceived as the perfect moment by the couple for letting their partner know how much they do mean for them. The couple of these days have added a new and lively dimension to this antiquated practice by mixing their heartfelt vows with the traditional ones. The vows had tied many couples till death, but was it going to happen here also or the vows weaved by Jefferson was going to give a new turn to their blissful life? The groom began with the love they shared for each other. He remembered the moments they spent in the past and how they helped him to reach this far. He also talked about the difficulties they faced and surmounted together. The speech looked perfectly normal until he mentioned a girl other than Jessica. Whose name did he take? Was it of the same person who he was looking around for before delivering the speech? The best man who himself had no idea about this twist was filming the event. Initially, everyone took it as a joke, but their doubts got dispelled when they noticed the seriousness on the groom's face and tone. Jessica, on the other hand, was surprised. Her groom was talking about some other girl while giving his vow speech. What startled her even more was what he said next about that mysterious girl. He said that he is in love with that girl and that he had been with her for years. All this while, when he was with Jessica, the bride had beads of sweat forming on her forehead. What she could not understand was that why he chose now to confess this all and most importantly, who that girl was and what was she doing at her wedding. Was she someone she knew? Was she one of her friends? No, the relation was closer than that. Jefferson proceeded with his speech. Not for a second, he looked into Jessica's eyes while making his speech. His tone boldened and the pitch got higher. Jessica was taken aback by the audacity of this groom, who was professing his boundless love for some other girl in front of her. Little did she know the name he was going to take was only going to add to her astonishment. The man before going ahead looked up once again and scanned the entire room. 
he was still looking for that special person who had given him the courage to confess his love for her in front of so many people. There was a deafening silence in the room. So was it happening again with her? First, she had to face a failed marriage, and now the man she thought to be perfect for her was confessing his love for someone else on their special day. Was marriage not meant for her? Her eyes welled up as Jefferson continued making his confession. It was a shock, not only for Jessica, but for each and every one who had come to attend the ceremony. None of them had ever imagined that Jefferson would ever do something like this with Jessica. They always came across as a couple madly in love with each other. What went wrong? The curiosity had taken over the room. He finally took the name of the person, the name that Jessica was least expecting. What was going on? She looked at her. She was standing right beside her with her eyes fixated on Jefferson and his on hers. He pronounced it again. Giovanna, he said. So who is Giovanna and how did he meet her? Well, Giovanna is the name of Jessica's eight-year-old girl that she had from a previous marriage. Jefferson had a great bond with her as well. However, there were some in the guests who did not know about Giovanna, so the revelation of the name was a surprise for them. After his marriage with Jessica, Giovanna was going to be his stepdaughter. Before entering into this beautiful relationship with her, he wanted her to know how much he loves her. It appeared Jefferson loved his stepdaughter immensely. The girl herself was shocked at this surprise from her father. Jessica, along with the entire crowd, was awestruck. Even Giovanna, too, was completely surprised. Jefferson bent down on his knee in front of Giovanna and continued with his speech. Jefferson had a lot to say to his stepdaughter. Jefferson began by speaking about her annoying habits. He told everyone how she would poke him and would eat away his food only to tease him. It was a heartwarming moment for all the beholders. There was more coming to it. Since her parents divorced, Giovanna was living with her mother only. Like every other growing kid, she too wanted a father, and it was then Jefferson came into their lives. The man gave her the fatherly affection she had been craving. After the man was done with listing out all the annoying but cute habits of his stepdaughter, he moved to some serious stuff. He told her, if I could ask God for anything, it would be to have you as my daughter. I would be the proudest father in the world to have such a beautiful, intelligent, and educated daughter like you. Everyone was looking at both father and daughter as father was exchanging his vows with her little angel. Jefferson went on without stopping for a moment. He closed his speech by saying, I love you, to his stepdaughter. Jefferson was trembling as emotions had taken over him completely. Giovanna was speechless. It was her turn to speak but she could not as her voice went hoarse because of the tears trickling down her cheek. However, she did thank him and called him father of heart. Even though Jefferson was not her biological father, he meant much more to her than that. The man was still kneeling in front of her. She closed her speech with a warm hug that she gave to her future stepdad. Jessica was watching all this with wet eyes. Not only Jessica, but the entire room was having tears in their eyes. It was an unprecedented moment for everyone. Which stepfather loves his stepdaughter this much? No doubt Jessica had made a right choice, not only for her, but for her daughter too. Jefferson was a great dad. Luckily, the best man was video recording the entire scenario. He even shared it on YouTube. And to save your time, we have put it here. Here's the amazing video that garnered lots of attention. The video was uploaded in February 2017. What was supposed to be a video of a couple exchanging vows turned out to be explaining a beautiful relationship that a daughter and father share. Though the language used is Portuguese, but the emotions expressed in the video lifts up the language barrier. The affection between dad and daughter is so evident in it. The video with Jefferson and Jessica standing beside each other the two are about to exchange vows in the reception room when Jefferson goes off track and began to talk about some other person. No doubt the speech surprises guests in presence. The wedding transforms two people into soulmates from lovers, so it should be celebrated in a very special way. Jessica and Jefferson did have a wedding that would stick to each and everyone's memory who attended it. You could easily perceive the reaction of the people in the video. 
the video gathered more than 10 million views in eight months, making it a viral sensation all over the world. The number is only increasing. The video, packed with emotions and sweetness, has made many hearts weep. One user going by the name of Ramon de Peña commented, Wow, it was beautiful. It is fantastic to see a man do the man thing. It is not beneath your stature to promise your little girl your love. I admire you, and let me tell you congratulations for the wonderful family that you have now. Certainly, it choked me up and almost brought tears to my eyes. For sure they watered. Congratulations again, Jefferson and Giovanna, and may God bless you all for the rest of your lives. Amen. Another YouTuber named Allison Schmelzel stressed the true fact that love does not need any language by writing, I understood exactly none of that, but I could tell the meaning to it, and I thought it was the nicest thing he could have possibly done, except I think he might have freaked his bride out a bit. Oops. There was a number of commenters who could not understand a word in the video and yet watched it with love. One of them was Strawberry J, who wrote, I have a vague idea what is being said, but just hearing his voice crack in his speech and the little girl had me in tears. I wish them the best and congratulations on having such an amazing family.